Brand new video. Today is July the 4th. We just left uh, uh, Whitehall, New York. This river right there is a Poultney River. P O, how do you spell it? P O U L T N E Y. P O U L T N E Y River, which is the border of Vermont. That's New York. There's a the river. That's Vermont. Anyway, uh, just thought that was an interesting little tidbit for you geography buff. We just went past Benson Landing, Vermont. Uh, we're cruising along. The uh, lake is getting bigger, getting wider. Further north we go. Terrain is changing a little bit. Some cliffs. A little snippet. A little restricted. This is Mount Defiance. That's a Fort Ticonderoga little lookout up there. And there, right up there, is Fort Ticonderoga. It was built in 1755 by the what? French? by the French. Now you think they couldn't keep a little stronghold on this part of the river or the lake right here? It's on the New York side of Lake Champlain, which is where we are right now. Okay, here's a little bit closer shot of the fort. We've been cruising along here at 8.9 miles per hour for two hours and 28 minutes. I've about had enough. This will be the last video for a little while because I'm ready to run it for a while. Get, we got about 50 miles to go today. I'm gonna cut that time down. Here's here's a pretty scene. This is Crown Point Fort, some kind of monument sitting over there. But fixed bridge with the mountains in the background, kind of nice. This is the Champlain Memorial at Crown Point, New York. We've been running for about 40 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, trying to make up a little time. So just forgive the wind noise. Might be pretty country up here. But I'm gonna slow down right now. Oh. I just looked at uh, my depth finder and all of a sudden from about 60 feet it went to uh, like 120 and it does, uh, the, the uh, chart shows a real deep hole right up here for quite a while. But anyway, we uh, just been chugging along, running along, making up some time. Here's Vermont, we just slowed way down and we got about five or six miles to go to our marina and we're going to spend the night over there. Anyway, check this out. 188 feet. Here's a chart if you can see that. We're coming up on a drop where it's dropped down to about 190 feet. And then over here is New York. We've got Lake Champlain in the middle of New York and uh, Vermont. I just couldn't stand it. 202 feet. Today is July the 5th, Friday. We spent the night right over there on the hook at anchor. Used their little kayak for the first time in a long time, and uh, they had facilities over there. We walked to town this morning, a little grocery called Ernie's, and uh, they had everything we needed. We bought our steaks for supper for tonight. Anyway, we're headed to Ralph's Point, New York, which would be the most northern point in the uh, United States before we go into Canada. That's about 60 miles, so just very pretty scenery around here. We we're right over there where that white spot is. Well, I must have just run over a hole. It's 270 feet deep right here. Wouldn't want to drop your iPad here. Wow. New record, 306 feet. Now, this is weird. I'm in 257 feet of water. Lake Champlain. Pretty mountain. And all of a sudden, this guy pops up. I mean, that, these are two little speck islands out here. There's a house on the one closest to us. I guess he just doesn't like neighbors, but kind of weird geography. Here's an abandoned lighthouse. This is Split Rock Point, and I bet you that's why they call it Split Rock right there. But anyway, this is at a point, and, and the, the lake gets real big all of a sudden right here. This is the largest part of Lake Champlain that we've seen. If you look it up on a map, it just opens up right here. But anyway, Split Rock. There's a split rock. There's Essex, New York. Essex, New York. All right, for you geography buffs, here are four islands out in the middle of uh, Lake Champlain. We're kind of, uh, Burlington, Vermont is right straight across there. And this, these four islands that have popped up out here are called the Four Brothers, in case anybody wants us to know. Four Brothers. Just a little change of scenery. Running up Lake Champlain. I got 60 miles to go today. We're running about 32 miles an hour. Just in case you got bored with the other stuff. Bill 
building on the New York side, just south of Plattsburgh, New York, is Clinton County Community College. Clinton County Community College. Nice facilities. We've been cruising for about an hour. We've run about 33, 35 miles. This is Point Roach, New York. Point A-U-R-O-C-H-E, New York, just north of Plattsburgh, New York. All right, today is Saturday, July the 6th. We're, uh, we're at Rouse's, R-O-U-S-E-S, -E Point, New York, and that's Gaines Marina there. We're leaving, uh, when we go under this bridge right here, we'll be in Canada. Uh, we've got to check in with customs up here and uh, clear that and all that stuff. I, I don't know what they, they, they have to declare some stuff. Stuff, whatever, but no big deal, I hope. This is our last shot of the United States for probably about a month. This is Fort Montgomery, which saw military action during the Revolutionary War, War of 1812, and probably the French and Indian Wars. This is the bridge, the United States bridge, goes from New York on that side, Rouse's Point, New York, over to Vermont. There's no little city over there, but that's the end of the United States, heading into Canada. Fort Montgomery, and there is Canadian Customs. Wrapping this video up, this makes it official. This is Canada, when we went by that little buoy right there. We're going over to Customs here, right over there. So, this is the end of this video, United States. We just cleared Customs, no problems, all's well. That's it.